One of the most important highlights of the Prime Minister's U.S. state trip was the investment uh, commitment made by U.S. chipmaker Micron Technology. After that, a lot has happened, land has been allocated and a lot of MOUs has been signed. To talk about how India is making efforts to boost the chip manufacturing industry in India, we have with us the Minister for Telecom, IT, Communications and Electronics, Ashwini Vaishnavji. Thank you, sir, for speaking to us. Um, so, uh, we know that a lot of commitments in terms of investment has been made. What is going to happen in the next 12 to 14 months? Give us an idea of uh, uh, the efforts that the government is doing with respect to the semiconductor mission. As you are aware, our Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji has put a clear focus on creating a semiconductor ecosystem. So the ecosystem approach basically means that we are trying to build each part of this semiconductor value chain, which is the design part of it, the talent part of it, fabrication, and fab within fabrication also, both uh, memory and logic chips. So considering that kind of approach that we have adopted. We are very happy that the first uh, unit, which is Micron's unit, it is progressing very well. Within few weeks of the announcement and the approvals, land allocation has happened. And as we speak, the land is getting prepared for starting the construction of the unit. And we hope that by December 24, the first Made in India memory chip should be shipped out of that plant. In parallel, many other uh, major uh, players are in talks with us. They, have, uh, they are kind of evaluating all the options. Because today India offers a very important uh, talent pool, very clear policy regime, and an approach which gives a lot of confidence to the people. So I hope that within next 12 months, we should have at least two more large proposals and maybe uh, four or five smaller proposals approved. Uh, so, Mr. Vaishnav, uh, a lot of people have been saying that these plans are too ambitious and, um, you know, many countries have tried and failed, many countries are yet to succeed. We have also tried in the past and failed. So tell us, what are we hopeful of getting right this time? There are three things which are different. First, a very clear ecosystem approach. In the past, the focus was basically, can we get a fab here? Can we get a fab here? That was the question that the, that was the policy statement which the officials had done. In contrast to that, our Prime Minister's vision is very, very clear. He is continuously, constantly focusing on create the ecosystem, create the ecosystem, create the ecosystem. As you are aware, uh, probably ours is the only program, India's program is the only program which has put so much focus on talent. We have committed 85,000 semiconductor professionals to be developed within the next 10 years. That makes us very distinct from all other programs, first. Second, the way semiconductor industry is growing today, from about $650 billion globally, it's going to grow to a trillion dollars within the next uh, six to seven years. Now, that's huge growth. That huge growth can be met probably only by a country like India, because we have this large talent pool, this kind of policy, and the ecosystem is getting developed. The third factor is the entire world today looks at India as a trusted country, as a trusted value chain partner. Now that's very different from the past. The way our Prime Minister has conducted the foreign policy, the way he has positioned India, the way he has kind of created that confidence in our country and our talent, that's amazing. You have seen the US state visit, how distinct it was. See. Micron is a very important announcement. Applied materials is equally important. Why, why I say that is, practically every machine, every equipment that goes in the semiconductor manufacturing, out of that, about a significantly large percentage is manufactured by applied materials. So on the sidelines of the semicon, applied materials had uh, collected its entire supplier base. They are about I think about 150 or 200 of the suppliers all over the world had come. So shifting that manufacturing, shifting that equipment base to India is again a very, that fits into the ecosystem approach that we are working on. So these are the three different things. Uh, Mr. Vaishnav, how does this seek to influence the lives of common people? Like in the sense, do you see the prices going down in the long term? Do you see our imports coming down? Absolutely. Semiconductor is the mother, is, it's, it's a mother industry, it's a foundational industry. 
like steel industry, if you have the steel industry, you can have many other manufacturing activities going on. Like the chemical industry, if you have the chemical industry, you can have many other um, ancillary, downstream, upstream, many things can happen. Same is the case with semiconductor. As you know, today, practically everything uses semiconductor. From the fridge in the kitchen, to the AC in the drawing room, or the TV in the drawing room, to the car that you use, or the scooty or bike that you use, to the train that you sit in, to the aeroplane, practically everything has semiconductors in it. So it's very, very important to get the semiconductor design and manufacturing capabilities within the country. Once we have that, then our electronics manufacturing gets a boost, our other manufacturing activities get a boost. For example, el electronics manufacturing today, it was practically just about slightly less than $30 billion 10 years ago. Today it, is, it has already crossed $100 billion. It's growing at a double digit growth. Uh, mobile phone exports are growing. So all these sectors will get huge impetus from the semiconductor industry. So the cost of semiconductors will reduce, which means the cost of the uh, gadgets will reduce. Second, employment will get generated because these electronics manufacturing is reasonably labor intensive activity. So that will boost the employment. Then third, in today's geopolitical uncertain world, geopolitically uncertain world, we get that assurance that yes, we are able to do, able to produce all the things which go into our manufacturing. So it will have significant impact. Mr. Vaishnav, what kind of interest are you seeing from global uh, players and also from domestic companies? Uh, we have very serious, uh, uh, very serious interest from the global majors. Um, the success of the first unit will be very important. And uh, so far, the Micron experience has been very good. The speed at which land has been allocated, the speed at, speed at which all the permits have been given. So that is being noticed in the world. That's first. Second, within our country itself, there are many capable organizations which have uh, understood the importance of semiconductors. They are also discussing with many partners, many global partners. We must know that this is a new industry in the country. In our economy, this is a new industry. So this will require tremendous effort, but I'm sure that this will be a good journey. And how have your interactions with Foxconn been like, sir? Foxconn is very uh, bullish about India. As you are aware, they have uh, close to about uh, 40,000 employees in the country now. And uh, significant uh, growth they are having in electric vehicles, in mobile phone manufacturing. Practically every gamut of electronics manufacturing that they do, they are very keen on expanding in India. And uh, they are very serious about semiconductors. We should see some very firm proposals in the coming weeks. Mr. Vaishnav, my last question to you. You've talked about this industry being labor int intensive. How are you looking at developing a skilled workforce that could be ready for this industry? Uh, two fronts. First is the, uh, the, the, the talent which is required for running the clean room, getting all the activities within the plant. Second is the talent which is required for design activities. The talent which is required for running the clean rooms, we have tied up with the institutes like ITRI, with A-Star. These are very good uh, organizations. Then companies like Micron and IBM, they are supporting us in developing that talent. Um, for the talent which is required for design, and uh, we have uh, tied up by now with 104 universities, including global university like Purdue. And we have revised the entire BTEC course curriculum master's course curriculum, uh, we have started uh, PhD programs. So all this basically will feed into the design level talent. Third, we have tied up with LAM Research. LAM Research is a unique company, it's a very good uh, American enterprise which uh, basically very specialized activities in semiconductor uh, manufacturing. So they have developed a, a concept called Semiverse, like Metaverse, semi Semiverse. Semiverse, basically you can use that software, use that system, and a proper lab is uh, built around it. Then you can actually do the manufacturing, act learn the manufacturing activities as if you are sitting inside a fab. So we have started the pilot uh, at uh, IIC Bangalore, 
and very soon we'll be scaling it out throughout the country and uh, over the next uh, three years or maybe four years we'll be training about 60,000 engineers in semiconductor manufacturing this will be a six month course and this will be certified by AICT so it's a very uh, serious effort that we are making at getting the right skill and talent Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vaishnav. So that was uh, Minister for Telecom and IT, Ashwini Vaishnav, telling us about the efforts that the Indian government is making to boost chip manufacturing in India. With Ashok Mahale, this is Vasudha Venugopal for NDTV.